What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warring Avid and Superhero I bring you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we are continuing our Avatar month this month throughout November and celebrating Avatar which is my favorite show throughout the month and it's also super martial arts related so it, re yeah. so it relates to this channel extremely well. Now I have a ton of weapons. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on TikTok, you've known and you've seen a bunch of different weapons that I have. and. Uh, a lot of them you can have I have reviews for on this channel actually and so I thought it would be really interesting to break some of those weapons down and fit them into the different elements and see what style of bender would use that weapon some are obvious and some are not quite so obvious so if you want me to do a part two to this video let me know and I will definitely get working on that but with all that said let's get this video started Now wait, 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 before I get into the first weapon, I just want to let you know that all of these are linked down below, and if you want to get 10% off, you can use my discount code NINJA10 at checkout, so that, again, they're all linked down below with in Century Martial Arts, it's a great martial arts company that I'm partnered with now, and if you use my uh, discount code NINJA10, you will get 10% off, so uh, with that said, Let's go. The first weapon we're gonna use is a bow staff. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Airbenders use bow staff. Obviously in the series, if you've ever seen even a single episode of the series, you would know that airbenders use their gliders and staff for airbending. Their staffs are actually made uniquely so that wings can open up from the top and bottom that can allow an airbender to essentially fly throughout the air using airbending to help their glider move throughout the air. Aang uses his staff to put out fires and um, defend himself and attack in amazing ways. He gets very powerful airbending moves out of his staff. But I don't think that's the only style that this staff would work for. Now airbenders use their staff in a very flowy, spinny way just like this. It gives them the circles that they use to bend air and control the wind currents. However, in many traditional arts, a bow staff is more of a blocking weapon than anything else. It's not meant to redirect, it's not meant to spin. In a lot of different styles, it's meant to be hard, solid blocking techniques and even hard attacks very strong attacks with your weapon i believe that as well as air bending an earth bender would be able to get great use out of this bosa for that reason earth benders rely on solid bl blocks and solid hits so i believe that earth benders using a much thicker bow staff than what the air benders would use could use a bow staff in a similar fashion to how they use earth bending to block solid attacks and then wait for the right time to strike or the right time to get a very solid and heavy hit in. The next one is going to be our sword. And it's no question that firebenders get this weapon. They use blades in their firebending as it is like daggers to, to enhance their physical combat. So giving a firebender a sword that they can use to attack relentlessly with would fit exactly what their bending style relies on. Offensive attacks very quick, very powerful, and unrelenting. And it also helps that, you know, firebenders are based off of Japanese culture and well, you know, katana, samurai, it's, it's the whole thing. And proof of that is seen nowhere better but when Zuko fights earthbenders. Uh, protecting that kid with his two swords, with his dual swords. Now, nunchucks are the devil's weapons. They wake up in the morning every day trying to figure out how to hurt you. However, what bending style are they? Took me a second to figure it out because originally I thought the circles that you use in nunchucks meant that it would be perfect for airbenders. And yeah, Airbenders could probably use it pretty well for airbending using those circles that is naturally part of nunchucks. However, I realized something while practicing with them that uh, it is exactly what waterbending philosophy is. Waterbender, waterbenders take attacks and redirect them at 
another opponent. They take energy and redirect it. And if you notice, when you use your nunchucks, you're just continuing the energy. You're letting it flow. You're letting the momentum flow in different directions. You're not directly attacking with the nunchucks. You are letting that energy flow and move around and then sending it back at your target. And so that's why, in my opinion, I think nunchucks would work perfectly for a water bender. Being able to come through, bend the water around, and strike out just like that, just like a water bender would. And lastly, we have the commas. Now, the commas are an interesting weapon because at first glance, I would think firebender automatically. Commas are basically daggers that go forward instead of down. They work essentially in a very similar way to how you would fight with daggers. The techniques are different, but the philosophy is still there. Attacking quickly, not much defense, and just pouring on the offense the entire time. However, I decided to think about it a little bit deeper than what, what I thought at first glance. And I came to this conclusion that they would be absolutely perfect for a chi blocker. Commas are meant to hit vital organs. They're meant to hit very strategic spots, whether they're wrapping around the knee or coming around the neck or coming under the armpit. There are strategic pressure points and strategic uh, weak points that you would go after when using commas. And their small size and weight allows you to hit multiple points in a fraction of a second. What does that remind you of? Huh, chi blocking. I believe that if a chi blocker had commas, they'd be able to put people down quickly and efficiently. They'd be able to disable bending by using the tips to hit those pressure points. Then they'd be able to put their enemies down, like permanently down by going after the, you know, make major arteries or going after nerve bundles or going after tendons in their arms that keep them from moving. Commas, in my opinion, are perfect for a chi blocker. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna send a special thank you to Century Martial Arts. They sent me these awesome weapons. So if you want one of these weapons or something else that they have, definitely check out their website linked down below. Ninja10 is a discount code for anything in the store so you can get 10% off your entire purchase. I hope you enjoyed this video and without further ado, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.